Hi, welcome back. In this lesson 7, we will learn about the difference between sessions and entrances. We are creating this video because there is a lot of confusion when you read a content on the internet and you understand the number of sessions and the number of entrances have got to be same. Now, but in reality, when you log into the analytics account, the number of sessions and the number of entrances, they're always not same. So I want to speak on that and I want to explain as to how Google increments the session count and how Google increments the entrances count. Now, before I get into this, I will give you a definition what Google says in their help center. Sessions are always incremented on the first hit of a session. It doesn't really matter the type of the hit, whether it may be a page view hit or it may be an event hit or it may be a transaction hit. It doesn't really matter. Sessions are always incremented on the first hit of a session. Now, when it comes to entrances, entrances is always incremented in the first page view hit or a screen view hit of a session. Now, it does not take other hits when Google have to increment the entrance count. It only takes the page view hit or it takes the first page view hit if it has to increment the entrance hit. We will do some deep dive, we'll do some study on understanding sessions and entrances in the practical demonstration. So join me as I take you to the practical demonstration where we'll do some extensive study on sessions and entrances. In this practical demonstration, we'll learn the difference between sessions and entrances. Now, if you come to analytics account, you have something called audiences. We will discuss about these reports in details. But my intention here is not to teach you the audience report or the overview reports or the or the site content reports. But I want to emphasize more on these two points, which is session, which we have discussed heavily in our last video. So if you don't understand what a session is, please go watch the previous video in this playlist. You'll understand. Now, the reason why I'm creating this video on sessions and entrances difference is that when you read on the internet, a lot of people think they both should be same or the number for sessions and the number for entrances needs to be same. Why? Because see, session is initiated when people visit our site and you have to remember one user can come to my website multiple times or in one week he might come four times or in one month he might come twice, right? So one user can initiate multiple sessions. Now, session is always incremented when a user comes, but there's a little difference between sessions and entrance. That is exactly what I'm going to emphasize on on this video. So if you come to audience overview, you have sessions. Now, if you come to, if you, if you come to acquisition here, sorry if you come to behavior here in behavior you have something called site content report in site content you have all pages now when you come to site content all pages you have something called entrances right so i want to tell you the difference between entrances and sessions and how google calculates them or how google increments the session count and the entrance count so let's jump go to the help center that google has I love reading Help Center because this is where you can actually get the right information because you'll find a lot of blogs, a lot of articles on the internet and people try and you know understand it and then present it in their articles. But the problem with digital marketing is if you don't understand, you'd misunderstand. So my emphasis is on the Help Center. So I recommend people to go to the Help Center in case they have any questions or refer through the entire channel, uh, Make Marketer or go through our playlist. And our, our, our playlist is very, very accurate and we try and put across great content, right? Difference between entrances and sessions, right? It says, learn the number of entrances can be different. Why the number of entrances can be different from the number of sessions in your reports. Analytics calculates entrances in a different way than sessions. Although you might expect the number of entrances to be same as the number of sessions. That's true, right? But you might see different values for these metrics in different reports. And why is that happening? That's exactly what we're going to study. Entrances is incremented on the first page view. Remember, my friends, if somebody comes to my site, imagine Make Marketer. If somebody comes to my site, Make Marketer, right? If a user enters the site, so makemarketer.com got one user. So request is sent from the browser to the server and whenever server receives a request and that received request is called as a hit and that hit can be in multiple times, right? So here, the first request that was sent to server is called page view. Now, it need not mean that every hit that is sent to server is a page view hit because hits are divided into multiple types. You can go watch the previous video in the channel, you understand. The hits are divided into three, four types. The first one is a page view hit, second can be an event hit or third can be an e-commerce transaction hit. Right, or a social interaction hit. Now, the hit that was sent to server is the page view hit. So, entrance is incremented on the first page view. That means whenever the first page view hit is sent to the server, what Google Analytics does is they increment the hit count or they increment the entrance count. Right? In contrast, session is incremented on the first hit of a session. Now, we discussed about session, right? Now, session is a group of hits recorded in a certain period of time. 
Remember, session is a group of its recording certain period of time. Now, we also discussed in the last video that session gets terminated after half an hour of inactivity. Now, when somebody comes to my site, a request was sent to server and that hit was page view hit. And whenever Google receives a page view hit or the first page view hit, it increments the entrance count. But session is incremented on the first hit. It does not say that it is incremented on the first page view hit. It is incremented on the first hit. It can be an event hit as well. Now, where does it come into picture? Right now, imagine if somebody comes to my site, page loaded. So it was the first page view hit, entrance is incremented. Now, after that page view hit, first page view hit, imagine the same user does not do anything on my site and he gives a break of half an hour. That means session got terminated. And after that half an hour, imagine I am tracking a scroll depth event on my site. And, and, and I'm tracking those as events. So after half an hour, people scroll down on my site. So when people came, first hit was sent, which was page view, and then half an hour of inactivity. That means Google terminated the session. And after half an hour, the same user who's on my site and the site already loaded, right? And he scrolls down. And when he scrolls down, I send another hit called as an event hit. So when the second hit, which is coming after a half an hour, will trigger a new session. But the point is that hit was not a page view hit. That hit was an event hit. And still session began. So session gets incremented on the first hit of a session, whereas page view gets incremented on the first page view of a session. Now, Google gave a nice example here. I want you to you know, come with me so I can take you through. Thus, there can be a discrepancy between entrance and page views. Right here, Google says, "Hey, person enters a page A, then goes to page B, and then exits." Now, page A got one entrance because this is the first page view, right? And entrance is incremented on the first page view. And page A also got the first session because this was the this was the you know page where people entered, and this was the and session is already incremented first hit. And page A got the first hit. That's why session is given to page A, and page A also got one page view. Now, if you talk about the page B reports. Page B got one page view. Yes, people came and page B loaded. But that page B does not get the session count because session did not begin on page B. Session began on page A. That is why session count is given to page A, but it is not given to page B. And entrance is also not given to page B because page B is not the first page we hit. First page view hit was coming from page A. So Google incremented the entrance count for page A, not for page B. Right, the user entered the page A, which also gets counted as a page view. Then the user moved to page B. Now, if the first hit of the session is an event hit instead of a page hit, now Google is giving another example here. Imagine, right, user enters, and the first hit here was not a page view. Here, here it was a page view, but here it was not a page view, it was an event hit. So, user enters, and the first hit was sent, and the first hit that was associated with the page B. And then he goes to page A, then goes to page B. Now, entrance, page A gets the entrance. Why page A gets the entrance? Because entrance is always incremented on the first page view. And first page view was page A. First event hit was sent from page B. But entrances is always incremented on the first page view. And first page view happened here at page A. That is why page A got the entrance. But session is not given to page A because session increments on the first hit. And here the first hit was sent from page B. That's why page B got the session. Page A did not get the session. And page B did not get the entrance because entrance is always incremented on the first page view. And first page view was page A. Page B sent the first hit. Page B, page A got the first page view hit. And that is why page A got the entrance, page B got the session. Now, right now, let, let's come here. It says how. Now, enter. Now, the event was triggered. The first hit was an event hit, and this event was from page A. Then again, he navigated to page A. So, in this case, what happens is entrance is given to first page view. The first page view was this. That's why entrance is given to page A. And, uh, and you know, first hit was again sent from page A. That is why session was also given to page A. So in page B, there was no entrances, there was no session, but page B, right? Now, if you come down here, Google gives another example. Here, there are only event hits, but there are no page view hits. And when there are no page view hits, that means there are no 
entrances because entrance is always incremental on the first page view that is why it's see no entrances but you have one session so that is why it is important that you understand how google increments the session count and how google increments the entrance count i hope this video you know gives you some clarity on this very topic that a lot of people who are experts who work in digital marketing for several years and analytics for several years but they don't understand these very metrics thank you so much watch the other videos in the playlist and you'd learn a lot of stuff about analytics thank you so much for watching this video continue to watch the other videos in the playlist lesson 8 is going to be very interesting it's going to be about new visitors and returning visitors and uh, also if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe hit on this notification bell icon below so that you would be notified every time we post a new video on our channel thank you so much keep learning keep growing remember aspire acquire achieve thank you